Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Rafia Maslu. Um, so Swadesh Singh sir has requested me to create a video uh, to tell about myself and uh, the career opportunities for mechanical engineers or the fresh graduates. So let me start with my introduction. So I am currently living in Netherlands. Uh, I work for a company called ASML. So in the year 2014, I graduated uh, in mechanical engineering from Gokaraj Rangaraj College of Engineering and Technology. Uh, after my graduation, I immediately got placed in a company called Scient. Um, working for around three years, I got an opportunity to work at a client location, which was in UK. I worked for Bombardier Transportation for about two years and then I came back to India after my tenure there. After coming back from India, I always wanted to work for our OEM companies. So I started looking for job opportunities in India and across the world. Um, then I found a company called ASML, uh, which is uh, which is in which I am working now. So I am an electromechanical engineer. Uh, so my job is to uh, my job is basically on CAD tools. So I work for I with, I work with Team Center and NX, uh, which is also called UniGraphics. Um, so my suggestion for the first fresh graduates is. Uh, first create your LinkedIn profiles uh, whether you want to go for government sector or private sector first step is creating a resume and creating a LinkedIn profile um, in case you need some help you can always ping me in my LinkedIn profile um, also start looking for uh, start looking at different profiles uh, in order to get an idea about how to write about yourself practice English writing and then start looking for jobs so how do you look for jobs so everyone has different strategy uh, I want to share uh, my strategy so what I did was uh, I took out a list of all the companies in Hyderabad so I googled all the companies like uh, automobile in automobile sector in um, aerospace uh, what are the companies which do which are building buses what are the companies of building ships so everywhere we need mechanical engineers irrespective of the industry even the medical industry also need mechanical engineers of course the percentage might be less but we need we are needed a in every industries almost in every industries so uh, i started looking for uh, I started uh, looking at the career pages of all the big companies like BMW, Toyota, um, Maruti and all the automobile companies. Then I went to the aerospace industries like Airbus, Boeing, um, then come to the railway, Bombardier, Alstom, Hitachi, Siemens. Uh, so likewise, I made a list of all the companies and started applying in the career page. This is also a very good option. Uh, even in your third year, second year, you can start this homework. Um, first, Google it all. Uh, Google into the all the career pages of the company, so you will understand uh, what kind of skills the company is expecting. So every company is expecting a different skill set. So in all the companies, you will find that we need excellent communication skills. So you need soft skills. You, uh, you need to uh, read, write and speak in English. So the people coming from uh, uh, Telugu medium, they don't have to feel complex. It just comes with practice. So you start practicing from your first year, second year itself. Give some time to your English vocabulary. Uh, try to write something every evening. Uh, maybe it could be about your class, about your anything. So that's how you improve your communication, verbal and uh, spoken English and then comes the resume. Resume is something which talks about you, your aspirations, what are you good at, what do you like, your hobbies. 
so make a very positive resume and in this resume there are two kinds of resume one is international resume one is the indian version of resume so when you are company when you are applying for a specific company like germany netherlands france or uk or new york america so you try to google uh, examples of modern resumes so you try to make it colorful uh, your resume should be catchy don't make it too colorful too flashy um, make it subtle uh, and then this is all about if you want to work in a private sector but there are a uh, couple of opportunities in government sector also i think most of you might know gate ies uh, these are the options uh, for going into the government companies you can do the same exercise for the for getting uh, getting to know what kind of skills companies wants from you uh, so go to hcl hcl or um,